So welcome to the language learning panel of uh, LendLack 16. Uh, we have three papers today, each of them 20 minutes, and then we'll have 15 minutes for discussion at the end. Our first speakers are from Smith College. We have Yaling Chen, lecturer in Chinese, and Su Jian Wu, associate professor of Chinese. And they're going to discuss their Chinese character literacy project. The project employs an online platform to provide a space for students to communicate their learning process through the creation, sharing, and discussion of character videos. So please. Hi, I'm Su Jian Wu, and this is my colleague, Ya Ying Chen, and she will start from okay. where we begin, <laughs> and I will do the, um, the ending part. Okay. okay. So, hi, everyone. So, um, I will give you an outline of what we're going to talk about if you're not working. We're going to talk about why we're doing this project, how we're doing it, and what's our takeaway. And this is not running. No, it's just not. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay so why this project? Because Chinese is hard. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I'll give an infographic which compares easy languages and the hard languages for English native speakers. So the easy ones, such as Spanish, takes about 20 through 24 weeks to learn to achieve proficiency. And hard languages, such as Chinese, of course, Japanese, and Korean, takes about 88 weeks, which is like five or six semesters to achieve proficiency. And why is that? So here it says, plus thousands of characters and com complex writing systems make learning Chinese a formidable task. Interestingly, for Japanese and Korean, why they are hard? There's one thing in common, Chinese characters and <laughs> Chinese characters. <laughs> so that's why I want to focus on why we need to work on Chinese character literacy. And for Smith students, first semester, they have to learn more than 300 characters. Those are three of them. They can look really similar and confusing. Um, so what do we do? And if the sentence should be understandable for first year Chinese, but if half of the characters you don't understand, there's no way you can understand this sentence. Mm. So let's take a breakdown of Chinese characters. Chinese characters are not in the visible whole. They are consist of parts. For example, Zhao has two parts. Hand radical and the spirit part. So this is a radical which contributes to the meaning. And every character only has one radical. Keep that in mind, I'll quiz you later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Uh, so this character is composed of two parts. And one character can have a lot of strokes, a lot of little parts. Luckily, fortunately, um, the parts are arranged in small numbers of configurations. For example, this character you may not be able to see. has a lot of strokes, strokes and a lot of little parts, but there's only three parts. So it, it is much easier to remember the configurations than the little parts. So here's the first quiz. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me, for Zhao, can you see the different configurations here? What does fit them to for the, the first one? The both pieces. Zhao. Yeah, mm -hmm. is it B? B? Yeah, it is B, so left and right. Mm -hmm. And this one? Two and one in the middle? Yeah, it's the first one. So it's a whole by itself. So they're configurations. Mm -hmm. And lastly, but really, really important stroke order. So Chinese characters are not static image. They are a sequence of strokes, like this. So the better understanding of stroke orders, the longer retention students can have to remember how to write these characters. So from a lot of uh, studies have shown that by Systematically introducing character literacy, 
uh, radicals and blah blah blah. Students, <laughs> students can actually uh, have better chance to capture literacy, and that facilitates their chance to capture learning in long term. And that's why we're doing this for beginner level, so to build a greater foundation. So how do we do this? So in the beginning of semester, we introduce uh, character literacy, so radicals, components, and stroke orders. And after that, students have to make their videos, including those elements, as well as their strategies in their videos through Explain Everything. So what does Explain Everything? If you were in the session before, you know it's an uh, <laughs> interactive screencasting whiteboard app. So what students do is on those apps, they explain everything, whatever they want to explain, <laughs> record it, and publish it to different places like YouTube. In our case, it's Moodle. So, so on the Moodle, videos are shared, and students watch each other's videos and make comments. So this is a Moodle page of where they upload their videos to, and then they can choose the different lesson, lesson 10, lesson 11, et cetera. And this is what they upload to. So they upload uh, a video, and also the calculators, like capture knowledge, like radicals and such. After students upload them, they watch each other's videos. And I want to take a little bit of time looking at this comment. So she said, like, I really like this because such and such. However, you can work on this a little bit more. But overall, this really helps me. So here you can also see students' critical thinking process watching each other's videos. And this is student comment, student comment, this is our student helpers comment, this two are instructors comments. So um, through the videos, we are able to assess students' learning process and we can identify and address their issues, which I'm gonna show you why. So the first semester, students are making one character per video. So this is the first one. And I want you to spot an error here. And today I will be introducing the character Zuo, which means to do. As you can see, Zuo has three compartments. Zuo has 11 strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. Zuo has four radicals. Run. The way I remember Zuo is by its radicals. <laughs> so there's a person who has to go knocking door to door in order to sell things, to raise money, to feed ten kittens. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so through the video we know what the concept, the wrong concept is, which we can't really identify if we only see the final product, then we write it and we don't know what went wrong. So through watching the videos, we know she has a wrong concept of those are all radicals, instead of there's only one radical. Okay. Okay, so this is the second semester video. Um, so second semester, they're comparing similar characters or confusing characters. So I want you to take a look and think about the difference from the first video to the second video and see their progress. You are good. Today I want to say one. 
个忙。这个字、那个字 are similar in their appearance in that 这个字 has this part and 那个字 has this part, which look very similar. 忘的意思是 to forget. 忙的意思是 busy. 忙和忘的 radical 一样。The radical is 心 which means heart or soul. 可是忙 the radical is here, while 忘 the radical is at the bottom. 可是 the number of strokes 不一样，忙有六 strokes， 忘有七 strokes. 忘有两个 parts, the top and the bottom. 忙也有两个 parts， 可是 it is divided into the left and the right part。现在我给你们介绍一下怎么写忙。一、二、三、四、五、六。现在我给你们介绍一下怎么写忘。一、二、三、四、五、六。七 Think about the story to memorize these 两个孩子。这个星期你很忙，所以你忘了你有一个中文考试。So do you see the difference from the first one to the second one? Anyone? Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> so in the second one, the student is speaking more Chinese. Yeah,、mm -hmm. which we didn't really ask them to, but they start voluntarily speaking more Chinese. Okay, specifically with the mnemonic device at the end, did you ask them to create mnemonic devices to remember the you know device? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. memory device. Yeah, yeah. like mem the memory device mm -hmm. at the end that like the kittens. Mm -hmm. that was oh, that's the their strategy. Yes, yeah, so their strategy. Okay, so yes. they, they. That's cool that they. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> just to uh, you know, they both introduce the character radical stroke order and uh -huh. the com com uh component, what's that? component structure. That's what we ask them to do, but the strategies are their strategies. That's their own storytelling part.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. They come up with their own stories. Yeah. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So next one. So, um,、uh, so we want to talk about this. So, so by watching their videos, we can address their issues, and then we can modify our stra teaching strategies. Like I design review classes based on what they mis the mis mistake they made. On the other hand, the I was sending videos where、uh, update, I'm posting them on the public facing WordPress site, which Sujen will talk a little bit more later. And hopefully, by doing this, we're creating a larger、um, Chinese learning community. So through this project, we're hoping students can internalize knowledge and document the process and create a learning community for instructors. Through this process, we know how they learn, what they make, how they make mistakes, and then we can design our teaching accordingly. Hey, so it's my turn now. Now、um, I would like to talk about then what are the takeaways, what we get, and what our students gain from this particular project. So,、uh, so first one. Um, I would like to talk about from students' perspectives, and、uh, because we did、uh, three surveys, one is at the beginning of the semester before they learn any character, and then、uh, the, the the second one is the end of the、uh, first semester, the end the end of the、uh, first semester, and the third one is the end of the second semester because it's an entire year、uh, curriculum for the first year Chinese. So what we get here is a stu、uh, student. They、uh, they they talk about they gain a deeper understanding of characters through deconstruction. What I mean about the,、uh, deconstruction is now, for example, you just watch the particular video. Now they know this this character and this character. The the components for both character are different. One is left and right. The other one is a top and bottom. Even though they share very similar. Similar parts. For example, this is a radical is a heart. This is also a radical of a heart. But pronunciation, in terms of pronunciation, this is a that. 
and this is also that. So you are too busy, so you cannot feel anything, meaning busy. The meaning is busy, and this one is if the death is on top of your heart, then you are forgetful. So that is the part. So they start to deconstruct the characters in their own way. And the second takeaways we learn from student survey is they really appreciate this kind of interactive and transform transformative learning through storytelling. They think, yes, Chinese character is hard. However, now because of this project, they have fun with that. They can play with this particular character, make it more meaningful uh, for their own learning experience. And then the third one is um, they can personalize their learning strategies because we don't tell them what to remember, how to remember. They decide what they want to remember and they think which way is the easy way for them to do. So they can personalize that kind of learning styles, learning strategy for themselves. And then number four is inclusive uh, learning community through validating different learning styles. Uh, what I mean here is um, because usually students when they write in uh, Chinese character at home uh, repeat 20 times at home. They think it's a, it, it, they cannot really talk to each other. But because of this particular project, now they watch their classmates' videos. They make a comments. And then when they come to the class, classroom, they talk about it. And then we don't really uh, say this way is better than that way, but each of their their um, th their stories are all validated. So so they so um, so they create a very inclusive that kind of learning community. So um, I would like to show you um, you know student survey from in their own words. Um, so here is so I just want to show you because we only have five minutes. So basically, I highlight some of the keywords. Uh, so making my own videos for characters are, uh, you know, really more than anything. And then the visualization and the story creating really means something for my own learning. And also, they um, talk about their strategy changed from the very beginning of the semester into the very end of the semester. At the beginning, they just repeat and they do the rough memorization. Okay, if I repeat 50 times, even though they still, I, we still ask them to write uh, a lot, however, now they attach some kind of story to this particular character, make them remember easily and also retain longer. So that kind of long, long, long-term memory is um, it's apparent now. Uh, so here you can see several uh, two students uh, talk about their strategy changed. Okay. So here, uh, the second semester, we did um, um, the third survey. Uh, so this is the end of just just a couple weeks ago. We did a survey. So here you can see students start to think about two characters because the second uh, semester we asked them to compare two similar confusing characters so now they thought that now i can really differentiate them and then i can start to deconstruct them in order for me to know these two characters they have some kind of similarities however they are different so they start to find patterns so you can see here students say now I can find patterns with the new characters because I learned this one before, so now I can associate that one to my current new characters, even though they are similar, but I know they are different. Uh, so here, so they are, so those surveys are from students' own words. And then uh, how we, what we learn. In, as, uh, in terms of an instructor, we also learn a lot from our students' projects. So I would like to talk about from very uh, individual learners, um, from that um, aspect. Uh, we think students, uh, we, this project really helped them to learn uh, characters in a more creative way. And also this project really helped them to critically thinking about their own learning process. When they look at uh, their own character the second time, they know where they made mistakes. And then when they watch other people's uh, video, they, they have to make a comment. So they have to point out what is good, what is not, what is errors, right? So here, so to help them to have the critical thinking and also help them to become active learners, not like uh, 
teachers to tell me what to do, you know? But now they take an active role to learn, uh, especially they have to choose a character they think is the most difficult one for them to remember. So they, they choose that one to make out a story about that one. And then our uh, next one is uh, uh, foster ma multiple literacies. At first, so our uh, project, we thought about to help them to overcome the difficulties of Chinese characters. But actually, uh, after we have done it for two semesters, we found students actually, it's not just reading, it's not just writing. As you can see, they start to use more and more Chinese in their speaking. When they are doing video, they start to use Chinese or Chinglish, we call it Chinglish. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning they, they throw in something they know in Chinese and then they start to use Chinese. So to us, actually, it's a very interesting way. And then uh, when other students watch their videos, those students are listening. You know, listen, listening more Chinese uh, in their uh, daily, daily uh, uh, activities, even though we do not ask them to do that, right? So this one comes to my Next one is then we cultivate their multi-model meaning making because they like a 10 kitties, right? They make some kind of sound and they uh, have a, a visual and they put some visuals and colors. So that they so bring that into their uh, their learning process. And also the last one is uh, student own the agency to use Chinese, more Chinese, uh, instead of us um, telling them uh, what to do, okay? But uh, in terms of the, the, the um, learning community, just uh, I think um, I just mentioned that um, now they are not feeling alone. They are not feeling isolated when they encounter difficulties because now they can talk about it in classroom. And also they have the comments part. They can tell their students, say, yes, I find this uh, character is also very difficult for me. Now your video help me to overcome this. So now they, they can identify that. And then um, they expand vocabulary from watching other people's um, videos because um, because they some students use a new vocabulary so other students who they are watching they can learn something and then um, so now that's like the last one they get to know each other from virtual space to the physical space and so um, I think our time is up but if you're interested later I, we can show you our website just give you a kind of one second this is our website and we intend to uh, to to make it alive forever uh, because we consider that as a um, video dictionary and uh, and so we meaning we have to constantly update it and maintain it so this is our website and then we are uploading our videos uh, here and then um, yeah so if you're interested in, uh, and then we call for collaborations so if you think your schools uh, your Chinese programs want to try this one out, please contact us because we want to uh, expand that to a greater Chinese learning community. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,